Instagram. It's me, T, from the past since taking the train to Tibet. Well, it's a Monday, which means it's a me day. You know, I have the tirades, you know, seven days a week. Mondays is the me day. The Tuesday is U.S. politics. Mm -hmm. uh, Wednesday is world politics. Or, well, I guess I keep on going. Uh, Thursday is audio drama. And, uh, Friday is a wrap up of the week of stuff that I, whatever, like that. Saturday is, uh, Saturday and Sunday is whatever comes into my head. So Sunday is turning into, going to be like almost like a, not a literary day, but I'm going to, I think I want to read something to begin with every Sunday. We'll see what happens, you know, because I'm up in Tibet with him. Right now we're in Dabaza. Okay, me day, me day. Okay, this is an important me day because we're coming to the end of just the last Monday in, uh, in uh, August and uh, uh, I'm going to do something. Well, so uh, September is a, is a nine month. You know what I mean? Nine is like the endings of everything. And then October is a 10 month, the beginning. So as a preview of the next year and then we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. But let me do a, a comprehensive me, right? To, well, well, since it's a nine month year, it's, it's, no, it's nine months, it's eight months. Look, it's the end of something. It's the end of the month. <laughs> I want to get, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, what I realized for a long time, I would think, it's just a weird thing. I said, well, why, why am I in it? Why me? You have no idea all the things that I witnessed and everything like that. And I say witness, witness, you know. I'm like a, a scout. You know, but when I was a kid, I used to identify, you know, we, we had uh, uh, the Cisco kid, I used to identify with Pancho, right? Had the Lone Ranger, I identified with uh, with Jay Silverheel's character, you know, or Tonto, you know? Now, Tonto had, his, Tonto's horse name was Scout. I realized that when I first came to Africa in, in the 90s, it was, I was in the, in Senegal, and at the radio conference, doesn't matter. In the radio conference, I, I had fasted, I was going crazy. I, 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 I literally, I literally lost my mind. You know, I was in Africa. I was walking around barefoot. I was I had my beard. Bar. It was crazy. And, and I was, it was a radio, it was an international radio conference, and I was bouncing around and just greeting everybody. It was it was wild. And one of one of the guys, the only other American African African American, whatever black guy, uh, there uh, from my lineage, uh, was Sheldon. And Sheldon said, he said and he tried to, about the second day, he tried to calm me down. He came to us. Because I would go to different people's tables and eat, the, you know, eat, eat at different tables, stuff like that. I make friends with everybody, including the staff. And he said, and, uh, you know, I, I, I know you don't take drugs or anything like that, but people think that you know you're a little off." Because uh, I said, "Let me tell you something, Sheldon." <laughs> this is the first time I was in Africa. I said, "I got information here. You know, I, I don't know where exactly Africa. Africa I'm from this with all the old DNA explosion. You know." I, I got news from Cape to Cairo. I, I claimed the whole continent. Blah, blah, blah. I just, he just, he had to go away because I was just that out of my mind, right? And, but I, I, it was, you know, because I was I'm in the belly of the beast and I got information for them. And at that time, I was thinking that, you know, I'm in the belly of the beast. I'm, I'm sort of, I'm traveling around. Anyway, I'm like, I'm thinking of myself as a spy, but I said, no, I'm not a spy. Because it's what a spy does, like a, like the king's messenger, they come back and, and say whatever the king wants to hear, whatever the spy masters want to hear, the spy always, you know, to, to hedge their bets towards, you know, towards what they want, right? I'm actually a scout, like Tonto, like Tonto's, Tonto's horse is called Scout, you know that? I like it. it was called something else in the radio series, uh, something like, you know, uh, I forgot what the name was, it was like, Bill, not Big Fella, but like, you know, like, White, whatever. Anyway, the horse died. <laughs> <laughs> the way it came to TV was Scout, the name of the horse. So I'm a scout. I'm not a spy. I'm not a whatever. I'm not a reform. I'm not, 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 not I'm a spy. I'm not a spy. I'm a, I'm a scout. And what a scout does, which is different, what Tonto used to do, like sometimes, you know, you, know, you, you, you be like the black person, like that be there and they'd ignore the Indian, you know what I mean? And they'd be saying all kinds of stuff. He'd get all kinds of information like that. But like he might even dress up like something like that, whatever. Uh, well, the Long Ranger used to dress up too, but point is a scout goes back and reports exactly what's going what they see what's going on they don't put no coloration on it they don't do nothing like they give you exactly what's going on and then when you try to ask them so well what should we do about this i don't know i gotta go back out they come there chow down and they go on just keep on scouting see how many people that are like that kind of thing so it's a different if you're a scout than if you're something else you know what i mean okay so i can set myself a scout and here's the thing uh, when I was like, look, my mama had six, well, seven children from six different fathers, right? Uh, when I 
that's because the twins were in there, right? So you had my older brother, who was a really nice guy, right? And you had me, who was me, right? Then you had Vincent, uh, who we don't know what happened to him. Either his father took him or he got, well, there's all kinds of stories about that. Then you had the twins, Rachel and Regina. And then you had Lawrence, my younger brother, and Rosetta, right? the, 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 the girl, the last one, right? And what's interesting is that we all had different um, predilections, whatever it is, right? Now, Gregory, uh, he got kicked out of every high school <laughs> in New York. I was, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm the kid with the, without all, all the problems, right? All the drama, right? Uh, like I said, Vincent wasn't, wasn't around. And you had the twins, but they were retarded because my mother didn't feed them. You know, they had brain damage or whatever. So they were retarded, but they were they were functioning. They, they could talk and stuff like that. So even when they was at Willowbrook, during the high head at Willowbrook, you know, they couldn't be taken advantage of because they talked. Plus, they were killers. Let me tell you, my, my twin sisters, they, they were killers. Seriously. You think I'm lying, right? I'm telling you, you would not mess with them. The passing project, you'll know, you did not mess with you. You didn't mess with them. And they protect them. The youngest, uh, my youngest sister. Anyway, the point is, uh, so they, they were a different personality. Then my brother, uh, Lawrence, my youngest brother, he came to us a little bit late because we all were in Forster, different kind of Forster cones, you know, like 5150, different Forster cones. And because I got, I, I got, I, the, the, the woman that had me and my brother, she beat me so bad one time, my back was all da 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 da. And my grandmother got it and went to a judge and then they got us all together and ended up in the Patterson Projects. Long story short, that's what that is. And so, but Lawrence came to us a little bit late, but he was like a, he was, uh, to me he was the smartest, but he was like a professional criminal. That's all I can tell you, right? Then, 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 my, then my sister, Rosetta, the youngest one, she, uh, she had a photographic memory, stuff like that. But also my grandmother, my grandmother, let me put it this way, my aunt and my mama uh, were, again, two different fathers, right? Uh, they, uh, well, it's a long story, but they, they, nobody got along in that, that, that extra launch like that. Now, the reason I bring all that stuff, I said, but, you know, there are all these, these day and age, well, you know, the problem is you had no fathers in the home. You know, uh, they, these, these kids are raised by, by mothers. They got the da-da-da. I know that. That's this day and age. Back when I was growing up, just talking about the 50s, right, we still had community, right? So though I was raised by my grandmother in the house, actually, we wouldn't stay in the house. She kicked it. And we'd be out street all the time that until the lights came on and you had to be inside, right? And then even, anyway, but then they don't have brothers and sisters, but they don't matter. The point is, uh, the community raised us. It's a, it's a communal thing. You know, uh, they, people talk about communism and socialism and, and capitalism and all these other, social, whatever, all these other isms, right? But we had communalism. We was a community, and which means that the numbers guy came to the house, you know, we have, we have all kinds of you know, doctors, lawyers, Indian chiefs in the neighborhood. And my, one of my fondest memories is when the, this guy had a car and he was going, and he says, hey, we're, going to, we're going to a baseball game. We're going to Everettsville baseball game. And we go, my girl, can I go? Can we go? Sure, sure, go ahead. So we just, all these kids jumped in this, it was a convertible, I think. It was. No, it was whatever it was. Jumped in this, that was a Chevy. Jumped in the car, zoomed to, to Brooklyn, to Everettsville, see, 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 see the Dodgers. That was the kind of community that you had. There's men, women, everybody raised each other's child, that, that kind of thing. So that was different in this day when you're isolated, when you're on screens, when you're even before the screens, when 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 the streets were, were different, they were, were the drug streets, whatever. So every era has a different different thing, right? So I was raised, though I didn't have a man in the house, which was good because you have to understand, my character, uh, it would have been terrible. We would have been conflicted to, to no end. I mean, in, in the American Indian system, I'm a woodpecker. <laughs> In, in in Chinese system of a metal tiger, you know what I mean? In uh in in, in, in uh, well, what's say in a mind system of of a, of a uh, what's called a, a white world bridge, I bring bring things together, right? But in in the in the Yoruba system, I'm I'm a child of Ogun. These things are not very good good for to be uh for for have a male and it just it just did it just doesn't work, you know what I mean? Anyway, the point is. So I was always sort of like, and plus, I do have to say now, because it's kind of, since it's kind of egotistical, but I was sort of, I don't want to say smart, I was, well, they said it themselves, but I'm, I'm, I was like an intellectual, so people left me alone, because I was also a tough kid, right? So like, even in my, I remember in class, like it was fourth grade, or maybe fifth grade, some, somewhere in there, you know, 
I was a, I was a reader. I, mean, I read a lot. There was another kid, a black kid. He, he's a reader too, right? But he got bullied. I didn't get bullied. But first of all, I wouldn't let people know that I was reading that much. You know what I mean? And then plus, you know, I could fight. That's not the point. Let's get to the point. You know? So uh, this all says to because like, like for instance, sometimes I, I talk about uh, James Small because James was uh, was a uh, our historian and, and whatever for normal radio. And so one time he told me, he said, he said, you know, Anthony, back in the day, he didn't say back in the day. I'm just saying that right now. You know, during slavery. Uh, if you if you were separated from your from from your mother or something like that, and you made you to this plantation, whatever it is, the plantation would take care of you, right? Remember, that's that's different than, than what's happening now. You see, so every era has this different thing, right? Now, if the plantations take care of you, it means that the community is taking care of you. Then it means you have communalism. That's what that is. I know that because uh, living in Gubebo right now I'm in Dabaza, but in Gubebo, even in Dabaza, you know, what I mean, there's a certain communalism that that happens. It, it's a little bit, you know, well, it's, everybody takes care of everybody else, let's put it that way, especially in, in the village, right? But what happens is, is with, with the spirit of communalism, you know, and you're always looking out, looking out, seeing what's happening, you, you know where the criminals are, you know, whatever the deal is, the, the community thrives, right? Even if you, even if in your house you don't have a, a male figure or whatever, there's always male, I mean, just all the males are up there digging the grave, or, or, or they, they, they do things cooperatively, right? And they talk to each other to see what's happening. That's, that's a village life. It's, it's different. Now, in this day and age, you know, everybody's isolated. You're on your screens or whatever it is. This is not good, you know? You're getting information from uh, from dodgy sources or you, you're not fact-checking, all the rest of that stuff. So it's, it's sort of, uh, it's, it's dodgy. Let's put it that way. So as this person uh, uh, grown up, which shaped me because... Um, I mean, I, I, I sort of followed my brother around until I was about nine, then I did the Kareh Corps. Then basically, then even the Kareh Corps, you're mentored by older dudes, you know what I mean? So I always had a male influence, always, you know? And even if you want to say, uh, uh, so things were just different. And so I grew up different than, than, say, the generation right after me or the generation after them, the generation now, whatever the generations. There's different realities. Even just a matter of two or three years, it's just a different reality, right? So... When I look at these kind of things, uh, people are blaming this and blaming that. My thing is like, look, I can solve all the ills because I've seen all the generations. I know what the problem is. You know, part of the problem is really is just uh, when the when the drugs. There was this, there's this documentary I saw, and this woman she said, "All I know is old woman." Uh, I think the Quincy Troop was doing this documentary about that. Anyway, uh, she said, "All I know is is when the." Is when the uh, when the uh, the jobs went out, the drugs came in. So, unless you have your own discipline, unless you have the thing. Now, remember when 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 the Kreko, when, well, well, what killed the Kreko is the FBI. We we were doing all kinds of things, you know, and the FBI came in and said, no, you can't do that anymore. You got all those drum and bugle corps, those kind of mentorship kind of things. Yeah, I know Denzel talked about the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. You know what I mean? But when I, you know, when you got the Boy Scouts, whatever, the Cadet Corps was something different. You know, we were, we were, we were hardcore. <laughs> we, we had even had the P, uh, PAL was there. You know, we you know, learned about boxing and everything like with the police and stuff like that. But it was a different era, right? But but now, what you have, I guess, what, what I guess what I'm trying to say is that uh, 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 if if the drugs are there and there's no opportunity, everybody says we want jobs. Well, we, we, we're going to have this fact to give us jobs. No, you don't want jobs. Well, you do want jobs. You want opportunity. This is what my scouting report is. You want opportunity. And how do you get opportunity? Well, you can make your own opportunity, sure. But you have to have the resources to make your own opportunity. My biggest thing right now, I'm going off on this, is that if you want to really have opportunity, you can make your own platforms, stuff like that. You need to have not Wi-Fi, because you need to have Li-Fi, that's light waves, not, not radio waves, Li-Fi, li right? Then you have to have a good transportation system so people can get around. And all, with with Li-Fi, should be cheap, cheap, whatever have you. So my point really is there's ways to do this, and they know, the amorphous they, you know, is that, that we keep on uh, addressing what, what, what they say we can't do, or what they say we, what they will do for us. We, no. You have to make your own opportunity. You gotta basically ignore what they're doing. Because whatever they're doing, when I say I mean totally ignore what they're doing. Don't even respond to their ideas. 
because your ideas are more valuable than their ideas because you're not, they're not living in your community. They're not living in your reality. So when somebody says like, uh, 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 let me put that, I'm sorry, let me just, just, you know, you have somebody like, I don't want to name any names, but you have some dignitaries, some people that's on YouTube, where they're on, and, and they're, they're spousing, spousing. And when you ask them, what, well, what's in your library? Ask them, what's in your library? What are you reading? If they're reading a certain kind of person, then, you know, you see? I mean, the first thing the FBI did, not first, one of the things the FBI did in the 60s was they shut down the black bookstores. People don't know that. They shut the black, they went after the black bookstores. When I was traveling, when I, when I first went to, when I went to Florida, people said, oh, Florida, there's nothing there. Oh, man, it's terrible. They're, they're, pff, those people are like, duh, duh, duh. And so I went to Florida, and I went to a black bookstore. There's all my people. So in every place, there's something. You see what I'm saying? But now it's interesting because that's come back around. Because you can have your own self-publishing, you can have your, you can you can identify bookstores, you can identify programs, and go there and support that. You don't you don't even have to listen to what they, what they're saying. What they if they put Jack and Jill on on, on in, your, in your child's hand, you say, "Nice kid, now you're going to do some extra work. We're going to give you some John Henry Clark, or well, you know, we're going to give you something else over here." You see, so you're still in control of everything, and those the, the, those bygone days are not bygone. They're still here. They're just in another another form, and you got to find. Then the other one that I really like. I'm sorry. Remember I told you I I, I was in foster care, whatever. Have you. So I'm fifty one fifty. I'm fifty one fifty down. Corey Holcomb, it's Corey 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 Holcomb is an absolute genius. People don't know how smart he is. That boy is smart. Both in communications. And, and whatever he's doing. So he says a certain lane, but he is good, right? So I, I, I religiously listen to 5150. Um, there's other people that are, you know, uh, there's other people that do, but, but, but as far as go to 5150, Professor Black Truth every day, right there. Uh, 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 everybody else is entertaining to me, right? And then, of course, uh, Yaki for my, for, for, you know, he's very important movement. For, for the body thing like that. There's a whole lot of other things that I do, but the, let me say one more thing. If I was to build a library, if, you give, if I had those resources and I can spend the money, there's two authors, my library will be filled with Dr. Joe Horn books and John Mason books. John, John Mason's a universe scholar, whatever. His books, and Dr. Joe Horn. My library will be filled, don't, but don't, I know there'll be other people in the library, but that's what it'll be filled with. Okay. I'm gonna leave. That's 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 a me thing for today, uh, um, uh, and like every Monday, we, we went through all that stuff. Okay, ready? Okay, so I'm gonna go, let you go, have a good one. Tomorrow is gonna be U.S. politics. Oh, you don't want to miss that. I got a really interesting take on 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 what's happened with the gaslighting Democrats. Okay. <laughs>